Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Midlands. I'm here, obviously, to see my children, but at the same time, I'm gonna catch a ride and go out for something to eat with the boys. I cannot wait, I haven't ridden Clint in ages. I'm freaking excited, and I get to do it on my new bike. Looking after your new bike for you. <laughs> First impressions. I love it, mate. Especially on the floor like that. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, it's polished. It certainly, it's polished. It is. Not for long. No. Nope. Bikes are meant to be ridden. All right. Not made love to. Let's go and shred. Gazla back at Clent. Well, this is all very exciting, guys. It is. And welcome back to the Clint Hills. And a lot of people are going to be wondering why I've decided to go back to a smaller wheel, a 27.5 wheel. Now, for me, it was all about the different kind of terrains that we're actually riding. Oh, this is tight. Although I love my 29er, the 27.5 wheel for me is more nimble, more fun. And for me, mountain biking these days is more about fun rather than speed. Right, I'm absolutely thrilled to be back in the Clent Hills and riding with the boys. It's been a long time and rather than them coming down to me, I've decided to come up and visit them. Oh, slow, slow, slow. Oh, I nearly went straight on. <laughs> I have 100% really missed these trails. You don't get these kinds of trails on the Isle of Wight, these loamy, dirty, rooty, technical downhill trails. Walkers! And I tell you, the other thing we don't get on the Isle of Wight, unruly dog walkers that refuse to put their dogs on leads, even though they're fully aware that their dogs are going to go for bikers. Evening. Thank you, three of us. Just coming into one of my favourite trails at Clent, it's Rooty Bit. And I've always loved this trail. But I've got to say, the 29er bike would actually be better on this trail, just for the rollover. <laughs> Trying to duck a tree. <laughs> it is now. Thank you. Oh. Whew. Oh. I think I went proper sideways part way down there. I saw a tree like that and thought, no. <laughs> Back to the official trails, which is deep wood, dark wood, dark core, whatever it's called these days. And I do apologise for the shakiness of the camera. It was getting a little bit late and we were losing the light and we all know GoPros don't do very well when it gets dark. If deep pool is definitely a, a trail of, of two kinds of sides. So you've got the top side which is definitely more suited for the 27.5 wheel with lots of sharp turns, tight corners and then the bottom half which is steep, rooty and rutty. So definitely suited more for the 29ers. I wasn't very fast down here last week. Um, I'm not I'm not very fast down anything at the minute. It's been six months since I've rode Clint and the trail builders have been incredibly busy. Now this is one of the newer trails. I'm not sure what the name is of this trail. I'll try and uh, find that information out and put it in the comments for you. But it's definitely bike park quality. For 
those of you guys out there that are actually watching this video thinking oh I quite fancy go with this and you're quite new to mountain biking just be very careful GoPro effect in full effect here these trails are a lot steeper than they actually look on the camera I've had such an amazing time riding these trails again and we're just finishing off the day we have a little bit of Cobra Death Trail. This was one of my all-time favourite trails back in the day. It is an unofficial trail, I haven't shown where the entrance is, but for all of you guys that ride Clint a lot, you know where it is. Just want to take this time to thank all you guys for the support and all the subscriptions that you've done to the channel over the years. It's uh, going quite well and thank you for supporting me during the transition to the Isle of Wight. If you did well, enjoy this video, wheel, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you again next week.